Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be computing the power set of a specific set of four elements. This problem can be found in section 1.3. We're doing problems 3 and 4. And they can be found in your free online discrete math textbook. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can check this out. So let's take a look at what the power set of A, B, and C, D is. So the power set by definition is a collection of all of the subsets of this set right here, A, B, C, and D. So for example, the empty set is a subset of everything. The set containing A is a subset of A, B, C, D. And then I could keep going for my one set items. Now, so we have one element that has zero elements inside that element. We have four sets that have one element. And so the question for number three is, how many two element sets are we gonna have? Well, let's actually try to compute this by hand. We have A and D, we can have A and B, we can have A and C, we can have A and D. We can do B and A, but I wanna talk about this real quick. We can't include this in the set because we already have. And keep in mind that with sets, there are no repetitions allowed. You can have a collection of objects so long as there's no repetition. Multi-sets, you're allowed to do stuff like this, where you have multiple elements in a set that's the same element. But with sets, you can't do that. So we skip that B and A, and we go straight to B and C. We can't do B and B because we can't pull out the element B twice. We can only pull out the B element B once. And keep in mind that with a set, you can only have one copy of every element. You can't have more than one copy of any element. That, that would be a multi-set. All right, let's keep going. We have B and D, and then C and D. So this is the set. So how many two element subsets do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer to problem three is six, but why is it six? So I have a question for you all. Why is there an element here that is a set with zero elements? Why are there four sets here, or subsets I should say, that are singleton sets, meaning that they only have one element in those sets. Why four? That's an oddly specific number. Well, just so happens that there are four elements in my original set. We'll keep that in mind, that's important. But then how many sets, or subsets I should say, have two elements? Well, we said six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But why six? Where does six come from? Well, we'll actually address this specific question multiple times throughout discrete math. But for now, just know that the answer is six because that's what we counted. What about the sets with three elements or the subsets, I should say, of three elements? Well, we could do A, B, and C. We could do A, B, and D. We can do B, C, and D and A, C, and D. And then last but not least in our power set, we have a set of size four, which is A, B, C, and D. So this is the power set of the set containing A, B, C, and D. So the power set of this is this set right here. Now let's talk about this set, specifically about the purple elements this time. Now, why are there four elements in this scenario? Well, these elements can be thought of as kicking out one element from my set. So for example, this first set right here can be thought of as just kicking out D. This set can be thought of as kicking out C. This set right here can be thought of as kicking out A. And then this set can be thought of as kicking out B. There are only four options to kick out, and so that's why there are four sets of size three. So that's your answer for problem four, but we haven't really given a detailed explanation. What's the six about? 
Well, again, we'll address this specific question multiple times throughout this course, but I still want to build more tools so that we can analyze why this number is six a little bit clearer, but we'll get to that. I promise. Thanks everyone. And I'll see you all in the next video.